everybody, I'm Doug, and congratulations on your decision to purchase a Kita FX life safety system. In our What's in the Box video today, I'd like to show you some important information about the Kita FX Intelligent Addressable Control Panel. First, I'd like to show you some of the enhancements that we've made to our product packaging. Our product packaging will provide visual and descriptive information about the control panel inside the box. Each of our FX panel packages are color coded. The addressable panels and the field devices that work well with the panel that we show on the side flap can be identified by red circles with the letter I in the center, such as these. If the devices or the control panel are part of our conventional line, those red circles will be blue in color with the letter C in the center. In addition to the color-coded circles, you'll notice that we have a large red 64 in several spots on the product package. The 64 will indicate that the control panel inside the box is part of the Intelligent Addressable Series and will support up to 64 Intelligent Initiating Devices. We also provide indication on our DAC modem or dialer module. We have a check box on the top flap and both side flaps of the box, as you can see here. When any of those boxes are marked, that will indicate that the control panel inside does not include the dialer or the DAC modem module. For our video today, none of our boxes are marked, which means that our panel will include the DAC modem or the dialer module. We offer a three-year warranty for this control panel. The warranty information is displayed on the side flap of the box. That three-year warranty for this control panel will start the day the panel is purchased. We have a list of key product features on the top flap of the box. In addition, you'll find a system configuration graphic. The system configuration graphic will let you know that this control panel will support up to 64 intelligent initiating devices of any type. Our supported NAT configurations or notification appliance circuit configurations are shown here. This panel will provide two Class B NACs or two optional Class A NACs when you purchase the SA-CLA Class A expansion card. We offer an optional 10 amp or 6.5 amp booster power supply, which is available for additional notification appliance circuits or auxiliary power. The 64 point panel will support up to eight remote enunciators. We have an optional SA-ETH or Ethernet card so that you can connect this control panel to your site's local area network. If you need printer support, we have the SA-232 available for purchase. Incidentally, both of those cards will allow you to read and write the panel database when you use a laptop and our system configuration utility software. On board the control panel, we provide two Form C relays and one Form A relay. If your installation should require the control panel to be semi-flush mounted, we offer for purchase the SA-Trim 1 for you to meet those semi-flush mount application installations. If you have any additional questions about our control panel that we do not cover in our video today, you'll find our pre-sales application support phone number on the box. When you call our support phone number and select option four, you'll reach one of our support application engineers who will be more than happy to answer any additional questions you have about our product. Lastly, all of our product packaging will now include QR codes. When you scan the QR code with your smartphone, you'll reach our website, kita-fire.com. On our website, you'll gain access to catalog sheets, product brochures, and technical reference manuals. Now that I've shown you some of the enhancements that we've made to the product packaging, let me show you the panel inside the box. 
Now that we've removed the control panel from the packaging, you'll find the cabinet keys will be typically taped to the top of the cabinet in a small bag. If this particular set of CAT45 keys becomes lost, all of our kit at FX over-the-counter control panels utilize the CAT45 key. Once you unlock the cabinet and you look inside, take the plastic bezel off, put the plastic bezel to the side, but don't throw it away because once we complete our connections to our field wiring on the actual control panel, we're going to reinstall the plastic bezel. Also inside the cabinet, you'll find a large plastic bag. Inside the plastic bag, you're going to find the two RJ cables for your SA DACT, a small bag of wiring and spade lug connectors so you can connect your backup batteries to the control panel. We have several pieces of documentation inside the bag. First, we have the SA DACT installation sheet. We have a panel compatibility list which will show all of the equipment that has been tested and verified to function reliably with the control panel. We have the panel operating instructions, which you will leave behind at the job site after the installation is complete for your end user so that they know how to operate the control panel. We also have the technical reference manual. Inside the technical reference manual, you're going to have a basic system overview which includes the installation guidelines, the steps to program the panel and the dialer, equipment maintenance information, system calculation worksheets, programming templates, wiring diagrams, the panel specifications, and a default contact ID event list, which the DACT is gonna to send to your central station. That wraps up our What's in the Box video today. If you'd like some more information, please scan the QR code and you will return to our website, kidda-fire.com, or select the link below and you will return to our YouTube page where you can view some additional product videos.